What's going on? Brian Carroll here at PowerXStrength.com HQ coming to you on Friday, the 27th of September. October is almost here. It's crazy. I've got a meet picked out that I'm going to do, and that's going to be December 7th in Tampa. It's an APF meet, which will qualify me once I hit a total that's top 30 for the semifinals in, uh, in March at the Arnold. So Dondell Blue is going to be doing the same thing with me. And uh, we're looking forward to, to doing that, man. Blue hasn't done a meet in like nine or 10 years. And he's looking as big and as strong as ever. So I'm looking forward to the next 11 weeks or so of training. And I hit on this a little bit earlier this week. Um, I'm going to go about this training cycle as more of an experimental approach for December. I'm not necessarily trying to peak. I'm not going to take a bunch of attempts. I'm just going to hit openers and then shut it down because I don't want to try to peak for December and for March because that'll be a little bit too difficult to do. So I'm going to take what works from this cycle and maybe add it to March and what doesn't work I'll remove and the 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 similarities of the past are going to remain the same. Um, that even makes sense. The consistent things that I've done in the past I'm still going to keep. I'm still going to progress. I'm still going to do mostly free weight, straight weight when I'm uh, close to a meet, but I'm going to use accommodating resistance. I'm going to train more raw going forward because before I was, honestly, I was scared uh, training too heavy raw when I was keeping my weight down so much because I stayed drier. I stayed really, you know, relatively lean for a power lifter. So I was scared of tearing a bicep or a pec off, honestly. So I'm going to push the raw more going forward, especially in the off season. And then even parts of pre-contest, I'm going to go heavier raw just to maintain that raw strength. So I get more of a carryover um, going forward. So we'll see how that experiment works for December. See how snappy everything feels when I put the gear on and we'll make adjustments as we go. Monday, I didn't really, Monday's our bench day and I didn't really do too much on that day. I did a lot of dumbbell work. I did a lot of shoulder rehab. I did some core work and uh, that was about it. I didn't handle a barbell as this is my deload week. Deload week ends today, and I'm going to do a fluff and buff session in a little bit. Wednesday, I did some light deadlift and squat assistance work, and that went pretty well. Everything's feeling good. My body weight has come down to 295, so it's already heading in the right direction, and I'm feeling better by the day. My uh, quads and hamstrings started to get so tight that it started to make me feel a little out of whack, and that was due to, one, me going too ballistic with the sled. I was putting too much weight on there, doing it too much especially on the days that I trained heavy. I was just a little too eager uh, with, with everything that I was doing. So uh, I'm gonna back off the sled pulls quite as much and I'm gonna walk a little bit less. Now, you're gonna say, oh, why are you gonna stop walking when you advocate it? Well, when you balloon up to 300 pounds and gain you know, 25 pounds just in a few weeks, things change. And so my body wasn't too happy walking three 10 minute walks a day, uh, being so overweight and so bloated. So Anyway, I've used this deload week to get my diet in check, to get my weight down a little bit, and hopefully tomorrow squatting will feel good. It'll feel a little bit better than it has in the past couple of weeks. And I'm going to be working up heavier, um, raw tomorrow, and then next week I'll probably go in briefs a little bit. And uh, then maybe the third week I, I do a suit after the deload, a suited week where I kind of see where I'm at and see what I need to do for the remaining seven or eight weeks, however many are left. But like I said, this is going to be a looser training cycle, and I'm going to experiment a little bit more and give myself some leeway to, to have a little fun with it. So that's where I'm at with my training, coming off a of deload week, getting ready to push for two or three weeks before another deload, and then I'll reevaluate from there. Chains is going to be the focus the next few weeks, and then probably moving back to either a single band or just straight weight for a few weeks before we do another little mini cycle in a peak. And then it'll be time to do the meet. So that's where I'm at. I'm rambling a little bit at this point, but I'm in a good place mentally, physically, spiritually, feeling good. So um, I'm really looking forward to, to putting some weight on my back, especially with my body weight being up and not having to worry about sucking down to 242 pounds, at least for a little while. And I can just be bigger and I can eat big and, and lift even bigger. So looking forward to it. Thanks for tuning in.